going pink. Mm -hmm. There we go. Good looking crew we have. Good looking crew. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> celebrating. Everybody celebrating those flowers today. They're very excited. They get paid extra when they get some family time. <laughs> <Please, laughs> <they're like>, oh, <laughs> they are wonderful. Also this morning, we're busting fitness. Do you really need to feel the heat to get in shape? Experts are weighing in. That's coming up. That is coming up. First, let's turn to Amy with the morning rundown. All right. Good morning, everyone. And the big story this morning, bracing for Hurricane Joaquin. It's gaining strength. Now a Category 3 storm bearing down on the Bahamas with winds up to 120 miles per hour. Some areas there could see 20 inches of rain. And now the east coast of the U.S. is on alert. The storm's track remains uncertain, but drenching rains are expected from the Carolinas north to New England starting today. Flooding is already blamed for one death in South Carolina. Ginger's forecast in just a few moments. Well, conflicting reports are coming out of Syria that could deepen the mistrust between the U.S. and Russia. The Russians claiming their airstrikes in Syria are targeting ISIS, but the U.S. says that is not the case. It says Russia instead appears to be targeting fighters who've been trying to overthrow Syrian dictator Bashar Assad. Some of those fighters are backed by the U.S. Well, well newly released emails show hackers linked to Russia targeting Hillary Clinton's private email account at least five times. An email with the subject line, traffic ticket appeared to be from the New York DMV, but has in fact been traced to hackers. Critics say it shows how vulnerable Clinton's server was. The controversy may be hurting her fundraising. Bernie Sanders raised nearly as much money as Clinton last quarter. We need well, a new deal. battle in the retail wars. Target is making a new promise to its customers and it could save you money. Here's ABC's Rebecca Jarvis. This morning, big changes coming to a target near you. The retail giant will now match the prices of 29 competitors, including Amazon, Sam's Club, and Costco. We want to make sure that we offer the right price to every single guest every day. This is an unprecedented move. No company has ever implemented a policy that allows a price match with a membership-only club. And that's a huge deal because Walmart is not even in that space. Target's new policy applies to purchases in stores and on Target.com. Super simple. So if a guest finds an item she likes at Target.com, and then sees it at another website um, for less. She calls our guest service center and simple and easy. They'll double check the price on the other website and then they'll process the transaction right there on the phone. Plus, Target shoppers now have 14 days after making a purchase to get a price adjustment, a strategic move at a time when the competition for your business is more fierce than ever. For Good Morning America, Rebecca Jarvis, ABC News, New York. Thank you, Rebecca. And finally, imagine driving down the highway and seeing this. That's a bear sticking its head out of the window of a car. It's not a dog in a bear suit. This video is from Russia. Local media reporting that the driver did not get in trouble with local authorities there because apparently it is completely legal in Russia to drive with a bear in your car as long as it's in its seatbelt and it doesn't litter. Is that a hand? Is, that is, the, is the bear the chewing on a hand? It's got a little snack. I don't oh. think it's a hand. No, that is a the, hand. The, well, maybe it's a hand snack or a rubber toy. Did you see it? <laughs> it looks like it. I guess we're missing the point here. There's a bear in the car and we're worried about... <laughs> and did you say the bear was supposed to have a seat belt on? It's yeah, totally legal. As illegal. long that's as the, the bear had a seat belt on. It oh, did. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm not that's joking. True. And that's why there was no ticket issued. Now, no one knows. The circus is claiming it's not its bear. The local zoo says not missing a bear. I'm not pulling over a car with a bear in it to give it a ticket. <laughs> the first thing. Yeah. It's all no. yours, right? Your, your no, bear is Russians. not buckled. Yeah. <laughs> is there something in our coffee this morning? <laughs> I believe. GMA is going pink all morning long. Would you look at these inspiring images sent from you, our beloved viewers, your fighters, your thrivers. It's so great to see you all. And we're going to share more of these ahead this morning. I just want to pause and see these beautiful photos. Absolutely. Just ahead as well is Angelina Jolie's doctor, Christy Punk, breaking down the latest breast cancer headlines and a huge celebration of fighters and thrivers. Plus, we look at one stranger's random act of kindness changing the young mom's flight and life. What she did has so many people smiling oh, this morning. I love this story. Look at that baby. Mm.